Hey everybody, today I'm going to be demonstrating an app to you that I've created in Power Apps. What this app does is essentially provide you with a SharePoint user interface experience um, that gives you access to any of the content that you have permission to anywhere in SharePoint Online, regardless of the site, document library, list, etc. And uh, the app has absolutely no connectors associated with it. It makes use of about five different flows to to provide all this functionality that I'm going to show you. Um, and you're not constrained in any way to, to searching for different content across different sites. So that's the type of things that I'm going to be showing you. So I've got, uh, what I've got is a search box over here which shows me different sites that I've set up pre-configured associated with the app. And, uh, but you can go and search for any other site that might be in your environment. So if I search for sales, I'll show you that a bit later. So I've got a few different sites set up um, and I'm going to just take you, walk you through what, what I've done on each of those different sites. Um, everything you see is real time speed. So when you, what we're doing now is we're going and getting essentially the doc, the, the library. So you'll see I've got the two different libraries on the site that you would normally have in, in SharePoint, obviously. I've got lists and I've got subsites. So if you take, for example, if you're looking at documents over here, those are, those are subfolders. I can see all those different, the different files on there with preview images and scrolling different across in my gallery that I've got over here. Um, if I just, uh, Click on that little icon here. What it does is let me. It gives me a moves everything across. And as I again, these are just preview images that are generated real time uh, through the as I as I navigate through the different things. And I can also open up any of these documents and convert them dynamically on the fly to a PDF. So if I just scroll across to that one, for example, you'll see it opens up the PDF viewer in Power Apps. Here's the document that has been converted. Uh, we've got full functionality in terms of everything you can do within in that PDF reader that people are always complaining about in terms of viewing it. There's no authentication issues that other people have. So you'll see I can quickly different se select different files, view those different files, do whatever I might wouldn't want uh, with those different ones. Um, if I navigate into a subfolder, it'll go and retrieve those. And uh, also what is worth mentioning here is in Power Apps, uh, in a single app that you normally have, you are constrained to either setting it at your uh, list view threshold somewhere between 500 and 2000. And uh, in this app, you can dynamically configure it from any number between 0 and 5000. Now 5000 is ridiculous because uh, you'll see that uh, what basically happens is you get a lot of timeouts, but that's mostly because I'm downloading or selecting a lot of data to download to to expose within the app metadata, different things that you know you can see here I've got the size of the files, the versions, the date modified, and a lot more information that I'll talk to. Um, You'll also see here that there are PDF files, and if I if I take a, one of one of the PDF files here and I go into it and open it up, this is a very big file. It's got 415 different pages in it. We can we can basically use all the functionality in the PDF viewer to scroll across through those different pages. Uh, you know, I can go and navigate, and you'll see that this is all real time happening as we go through. So just let me close that, and uh, if I take another one, you'll see it just as, just as quickly opens up, and it's really awesome in terms of this, this type of stuff. Um, normal documents as well, these are whatever, we can do those things. And I've also given the ability for you to download the files if you want to. So there's an icon, for example, over here that lets you download the original of the document. You'll see it opens up the PDF and there it is. That's basically the original of the PDF document that uh, we've opened up. Okay, so if I just go back into my site. Now you can also look at the different lists. So this, I've set up a couple of different lists on each of the sites. It's showing me all different information. These have got this is custom metadata on the list that it's depicting over here that I've set up. 
it's like uh, I mean these are these are really things that you haven't been able to do in power apps or have struggled to I mean there's no way you could connect have a connect to to two different lists without adding two different connectors to those lists and yet through these different lists I can go and expose all the metadata quickly this is uh, you know list number one second list has got some different information we'll look at a, a couple of other different sites in terms of uh, you know showing you just how much how dynamic it is, it also shows me all the sub sites associated with any site, and uh, these are the main things on this particular site that I wanted to show you that uh, are worth looking at. Um, so let me go home and let's go choose a different site and just go and navigate and see what else we can see. So what I've got here is a photo site that's, that primarily contains photos as well as some other media, including including video files, which uh, are also possible to view within this app. So one single app enables all this functionality, and it's uh, really really awesome considering that um, the type of things that it, that it's doing on the fly, uh, where you previously just was basically impossible to, uh, to achieve. So in here, for example, I've got uh, documents and I've got uh, site assets libraries. So we've got some photos in them. All of these different photos, you'll see it's retrieving 250. My, I've set my threshold to 250, but I can adjust it here to any number. So if I wanted to pick, let's pick like a low number. So it goes, happens quickly, 169. What it'll now do is it'll retrieve batches. Well, let me go into the bigger library. If it'll retrieve batches of uh, that threshold that I set and uh, in there is a folder folder with 612 uh, different photos in it so that's quite a lot so it's now retrieving 169 because that's the number that I've set over here so I fetched the first 169 and these are all different photos that I've got in here this is you know really good speed it's not this these are big photos 9 meg uh, and upwards or whatever We'll look at those in a bit more detail just now. If I want to retrieve the next next batch, it'll retrieve the next 169. So full paging is built into the app, and uh, basically you can you can go and do all those different things. Just looking at some of the photos that are, that are set up here and how we're rendering them. These are rendered really awesomely at great quality. Down, it's not it's highly compressed. This is. For example, a 20 meg file that that's that's set in there. If we go and have a look at this in a little bit more detail, this is all happening so quickly that it's unbelievable. That that uh, if you if you really see what the type of quality is that uh, that we're looking at to over here. Um, if I close in there and uh, just take you through some of the other files, let's page across and move into some additional files. So you see that's definitely loaded different files here, um, different things that are that again are 22 meg in size. So 22 meg photos that actually you can render as quickly as I am over here. And the reason they're 22 meg is because when you look at them, the amount of detail that you can that you can see within those things is is really really low. You know, it's like it's uh, incredible what you can actually do with that. And I can download the original as well if I want to. So anywhere when you're looking at these different these different files, uh, that's you know kind of the, the type of things that that have been built in. Let me just increase this a little bit to. Now what I've got on this site is a subsite which has got um, a, even more media in it. And it's actually got a, a document library containing over 10,000 photos in a single folder. I'm going to show you just how how well that this app is able to handle 10,000 items in a folder. People have uh, talked and complained a lot about, you know, like concerns with handling large lists. How do you do this within Power Apps? Well, you know, as you can see over here, this contains 10,139 files 27 gig in, in size and they're really some really big files here but these are all being rendered at this uh, within within uh, you know standard gallery control I'm, I'm view, I've got 669 in the gallery at the moment 
So that's quite a high number considering the threshold. And, and these are th these are things, look at the thumbnails that are displaying as I go through it. There's no issues with the performance. I click on these different images, for example, and it's, it's giving me this ability. What's, what it's also done is it gives me the ability to take metadata from the photo, such as the, the photo taken date, which was, you know, back in 2010 when I originally took this photo, for example, these are different. 2015, these are all different photos that have got the correct uh, date on them because the, the, the information is stored in SharePoint. You can view the high resolutions of these different things and, you know, like really great. Again, like I said, I've gone into this in a bit of detail already. Uh, close that. Let's see what else we can do on the site. Um, so here I've got a videos document library. I'm going to go and select that. And you'll see now what it's going to do is it's going to show me uh, about 44 videos that I have on, on this in this particular library, 2.2 over 2 gig in data. And it's got the video player that uh, the standard out the box video player that uh, comes within Power Apps. And it's, it's going to render these videos in Power Apps. <laughs> things that this is coming from children. You see all sound, everything. I can hide the controls, I can pause. I can look at diff other different documents that are on here. So this is something that obviously came from so the... My name is Samir Bhangar. I'm on the PowerCat team uh, with a customer advisory team. For power apps, flow so you can power see this is a recording I've downloaded Today from the Power Apps Citizen Power Users Development. Community site, apps, and you can uh, see I can navigate to full navigation Citizen through the different things. Um, we'll go yeah, and have a look at another one over here, and again, you can see this is all happening in real time. Uh, um, hi everybody, uh, my name is Clay Wesner. Uh, and on the Power Apps team uh, on the program management side. Uh, I look after app experiences, so a lot of our controls and the experiences of... So as you can see, there's all these different things that are, that are again are possible MP4 players. So built into the app, I've, what I've also done is enabled you to, obviously, as you browse through through different subsites, you need to get back to the parent site. So you can see, uh, basically, I'm on the site over here, Master Photos, Master Office 365 team site. I can navigate up to the parent site by clicking over there again, and I'm back on, and I'll go back to the parent site. Uh, again, you know, go back to my home icon. Let me just show you some of the things in terms of the searching for different sites. So if I go and type in some search term, say I want to find anything that perhaps might uh, have teams in it. It says five sites found. It shows me different sites I wasn't displaying earlier. I'll go and type in something else, uh, sales or something. Okay, so, so obviously one of the questions you, you're going to have is, you know, how much uh, the work was involved in terms of developing it. And there was a lot of work involved in doing it. But then again, considering um, what, what it actually provides you with is... Uh, you know, you can use those same flows uh, in any applications you have and gives you all that functionality within any of those applications without, uh, you know, having to do anything further. So what I've done, what I've got is, let me just show you, I've got a few flows that are set up in that environment. What these flows do is, for example, this, this graph, the sites one, enables you to search for any site in SharePoint. Um, when you've, once you've found a particular site, what this, this flow does is it goes and gets the document libraries and lists on that site. Um, once you've got the document libraries and lists, you would want to get the different uh, uh, items within each of those document libraries. So this is what the drive items does, is it lets you navigate and view the different the content within a document library, the folders, the subfolders um etc um, and then obviously the same with list items enables you to see to see different list items for different lists um, along with metadata and things like that so there's really only diff a few different flows you can also extend this further by going and getting information such as version history for documents um, pretty much anything that you can do in in sharepoint you really can actually do 
right now today within Power Apps. And just to show you just on the on the development side in terms of just proving, you know, making a point, I've done all of, I've implemented the entire functionality that, that is showcased in this app on a single screen that I've created. So everything you've seen is basically bundled together, which makes it a little bit tricky to work with. But these are the different controls on that screen. And all of these different things uh, and basically essentially enable all that functionality. Now, can you imagine developing um, an app like this with one screen that does all of this? And uh, think of, <laughs> you know, the type of things that you've had to work with in the past as well. So uh, that's the end of the demonstration today. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed it. As you can see that there is an awful lot of functionality of, uh, exposed within this single app um, where much of it, uh, many of the app makers out there have been asking for for years and yet all of that functionality is available today and and uh, and uh, you can consume this type of information within your own apps and I think it's I think that's outstanding. So thanks for your time. Uh, just to also let you know, I've uh, posted a blog on this, uh, on how I developed it, uh, including exactly what's in each of the flows that I created for this app, how they work uh, and how they provide all that the, this content back into Power Apps such that, that you can use it in any way you so desire, uh, as I've shown. 